Hello and welcome to this video. Okay, there's a small gap. I did not upload the game before. That was a somewhat weird game. I lost that game, but was, that was not the point. It was a provisional account that I accidentally accepted. And those games always, I don't know, and I, there are just many cheaters on those accounts, like very frequently. This game, I don't think that was a cheat, um, actually, but it was just so uncomfortable the whole time. So I felt um, that was just absolutely not enjoyable at all. So I, I ditched that recording. Um, what's going on here? I'm kind of inventing stuff here in that line in the in the hedgehog don't know this yeah i mean he won't run to the rook <laughs> i guess but centralizing the queen could be good anyway Rook c1. I have to be wow d5 d5 was something here. Hui. And now d5 I can take with the knight. Okay. Mm, now it's a threat again. Maybe I just should go back. There's also knight takes e6. I just spotted this idea. But it should never lead to anything, right? No. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I don't want to be in that tactic <laughs> the whole time. That would be really annoying. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the position here. I have somehow play d4 while I was telling the story about the game before and uh, that is not actually a line that I play so I'm playing something that I don't really know usually play with b3 there not quite sure what I was thinking here black is certainly uh, okay Something like d5 now is okay, but not the only way to, to do it. He's got some, oops, some pressure here on that pawn. Mm, that's a good move. Um, Yeah, maybe some counterplay with knight h5, queen g4. Okay, I can take on g7 here, right? Yeah. Didn't even think about it. I mean, maybe everything else was lost as well, but okay, King H6 is the only move that wasn't totally clear to me. I, I mean, I, I always have a draw, so this is um, this is the thing, but I should win somehow, right? King H6, Queen F6, check, King takes H5. Where is the mate? H3, G4 is the mate? H3, G4... Check, check, check. Uh, queen g4, check. King h6, queen g7. Takes it. Hmm. Where is the mate? I'm just a tactical idiot. Queen g4, king h6. This. 
<laughs> I don't see the mate. This is really, really bad. H3 for G4. I'm fairly certain that this is winning quite quickly, but <laughs> I thought I should have a checkmate and I didn't see it. And now king g2, yeah? For f3 check, rook h1 mate. I, I don't think he can stop that. Mm. Mm. I, I mean, I saw that relatively quickly. I just thought there must be some check, check, check mate sequence, and there was none. I didn't see any. This is the second mating idea. F3 actually would have this check, so rook h1 seems good. Yeah, that is mate next, right? F3 mate or rook h4 mate. Yeah, that was a strange game. I think um, I was really not in good shape. Like here, the position is just very comfortable for black. I want to check this d5 uh, tactic. Did I miss that early on? Okay, I played this. And now I played queen e4, yeah, d5. Did I miss that? d5. I can take with a knight, yeah, okay. That, that wins, wins stuff, okay. So this, and then knight f4. Knight f4, now d5, I can take with any of the two knights but there's really nothing there's nothing special um it, quite the opposite i think black is fine if he goes b5 now or the way he played also seemed perfectly reasonable like this is completely okay and now bishop a3 is not really good i mean not really good is wrong i mean it, it's awful because i can take on g7 yeah yeah, that's a bad prophylactic mindset in a way, because the thing is, from a structural point of view, black is doing really well. Like, if you think about an end game, they would just pile up on the A file, on that pawn, and have the better prospects. The only real idea that I have is that counterplay on the, on the king based on those three pieces. So he should rather think about a prophylactic move and stop the potential attacks. And um, bishop a3 is completely the opposite, removes a key defender. Yeah, I was still surprised that he took so quickly on uh, on g7. I mean, it's in a way the only practical move, uh, sure, but still. So it's made in 10. Let's see if I found the quickest one or this, this. So g4 is quicker and then king h1, as I see. But this is also, it seems, a forced mate. So I didn't do it so terribly. Yeah, it was it was okay. It was not was not terrible. I just thought like when we, when we were here, there could be some mate in three or so that I'm missing. I didn't see it. I just didn't see it. Um, this is also looking quite good right so check and then h3 for this mate okay this is also quite quite nice or check on h7 sometimes right like if if he does that and this is also made silly this is not covered actually so there's only bishop c1. I see that <laughs> bishop c1, which which I just take right, and then this is the quickest mate. Also quite fun. Yeah. So this is the thing. Yeah, here Black should be aware that he's much better from a strategic point of view and just has to stop my counter attacks. Yeah, and and tries him yeah, and um, a move like. Rook d8. I mean, the, the engine finds a couple of draws, which is kind of believable. If you, uh, th this kind of thing, I would have happily played. Yeah, here, white would even win. 
but king h8 and now just um yeah irritate a black here on that side of the board okay guys thanks for watching